Hello and uh, welcome everyone. So in the previous video we talked about the integration with the docker like we added a docker file and docker compose file and now we are we were able to spin up the mongo container and the node.js container. Okay so we will see how we are actually accessing the uh, mongodb with the mongodb with the different models. So first of all in the main module we are using .env config so that we should be able to read the environment files environment configuration like you would need a mongo url which we are consuming in the app module right so we need a proper configuration for to be read so here we are importing dot env so you have to add this dot env module mongoose module in your package.json which we have already done and i just did a change little bit while for running this on the docker containers i am using the node mode command instead of uh, doing it with the npm nest start so i i, I have added a node bone module so in the docker file now we are running npm run debug which is nothing but it will be starting use this application and watching the file changes using the node bone so you just need to have a node bone.json file for it okay quick and simple so now you can see when you are running docker compose up with all the changes you should be able to see the core module mongoose module core dependency has been initialized and all these controllers we have you can also see in the logs that these are the routes which we have already and i did the cleanup i removed the core module and replaced it with a shared module i am just keeping only those things which are needed so in the shared module uh, here we can talk about how to access a particular schema model of mongoose so in the module first of all you have to declare it mongoose module dot for feature like you wanted to access a user module so you have to provide it here then only in your user service you will be able to inject that user schema model so i am using inject model user and this dot user model using this dot user model i will be able to access the methods provided by the mongoose okay so this is same everywhere in the shared and auth controller also you can see I have auth service and auth module. This is just about validating the token, generating the token, login and sign up. Here we have a shared module only and we can see the shared service. Here we are injecting inject model user. So two it's a two step process. First of all in the root module, in your main module like shared module I have. In the shared module you have to first provide a four feature on that mongoose module four feature you can pass an array this is an array so whatever the modules whatever the schema model you wanted to access like user post comment just inject all of these and then in the respective services in the same module using inject model user inject model post you will be able to access uh, those schema models and you would be able to run okay these are the two changes i wanted to talk in the docker file now we have npm run debug so we are able to run the application and mongodb is initialized now in the next video in the coming sessions what we will do is first we will try to set up a login and register features i will be just pushing this code to the repository login and register is nothing but we will be like in the user controller here we have auth controller here we are accepting a login so we are passing the first of all we have a login dto Login DTO will nothing but validating username and password. So you can access, you can provide that it should not be is not empty. Not empty. I mean these all are class validators. So let me just see. Okay, this is an interface. So that that can be added to the class class variables only. So in this is the login DTO, and we are importing this login DTO in our application auth service in the auth controller, and we are just validating the user. We are getting the user DTO, so we are getting extracting the payload, and we are signing this payload, and we are returning the user. We are returning the user with token. So we have these two controllers in the auth. So we would be able to access it using auth register and auth login. We will be changing this implementation. This is the default one. We will be just accepting the username and password and we will be validating it for the login. Okay, and then we will be returning the token. So for that returning the token generating and all these things, we have auth service, auth service dot sign payload. 
and we are just using the JWT view of doing it. We have added a JSON web token for that. That okay. So that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, you can just clone this repo and can start looking into it. Uh, thanks, everyone.